Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape, and today we're going to talk about taking your kiddos fishing. We're down here at the uh, commercial fish pier here in Woods Hole, which is just a cool place to be. Lots going on, commercial boats. Um, we just saw the boat unload some real healthy fluke and some dogfish. And, but today we just, we're just we getting back to our roots, and this is where it all started for me when I was a young kid. I used to come down here with my dad all the time. Uh, the, the playbook here in Woods Hole would be to fish for a little bit, and then uh, if the aquarium was open, we'd go check that out, and then uh, before we took off, we always got a chocolate ice cream cone. So I think that's the plan today. Um, but our fishing rig, more importantly, is just a real simple hook, line, and sinker with a small piece of squid. Yeah. The first step is to create just a simple loop in your line. Now this is bigger than you need, but I'm just going in an over-exaggerated size so it's easy to see on the camera here. And it's just a real simple overhand loop. Now anybody can do this loop, super easy, just, just wrap the line over itself, and that's going to leave you a big loop. That's the last knot you're going to need to tie. The second step is putting the sinker onto this loop. So I'm just going to take the sinker, and this is a one ounce sinker, and I'm going to add here that a one ounce sinker is pretty ideal for this type of situation. I'm going to thread that loop through the hole of the sinker, and just take it over the bottom, and there you go. You've got, the sinker is going to hang right on the line. Now your final step is attaching your ready rigged Snell hook to the sinker. And just the same way, we passed the monofilament loop through the eye of the sinker. We're just going to pass it through the sinker again. And I'm going to pass this hook through the leader, the loop. Now these hooks come rigged just like this, so you don't have to tie this rig. Pull it tight. So as you can see, we're using squid for bait. Now this is a, this happens to be a very large squid. So what I'm going to do is cut it up into small pieces. So they, you know, little small strips, just like this, maybe one inch pieces. It's a little longer, but a little skinnier. If you don't have a shop nearby, or the hours aren't convenient for you. You can always find a block of squid in a supermarket in the frozen seafood section. So that's a good little tip. Now the final step is to bait your hook. And it's very much like sewing. In that you just thread that piece of squid right onto the hook. And this is a smaller piece. And back in again. So it's going to make it harder for those fish to steal my bait. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, survey the situation. Uh, the first thing I want to look at is the deeper water, which, which is a further cast away from the pier. Sometimes the fish like to be out in deeper water. But then also you'll notice that there's pilings and posts and rocks and boats and stuff here. It serves as excellent structure. And so if the fishing gets slow and you just need simple entertainment with the kiddos, don't forget just to drop your your hook's down by the piling and there's always a nibble there. But I'm gonna get this out, this rig out there and I'm just gonna do a real simple cast. I'm gonna look behind me to make sure there's no, nobody at eye level behind me. And I'm just gonna send that cast out. And now that lure hit the water, I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom. And I'm gonna hand it to this guy, my son Max. Now he knows what to do. And what he's gonna do is get that line nice and tight so he can feel any nibbles. And when that rod goes twitch, 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 Max knows to set the hook 
and then reel it in. So here you go, bud. And so one, one thing I like to do is slowly reel that sinker in real slow so it goes across the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing there is as I'm bringing the bait in, we're covering a lot of ground. So we just cast that sinker out about, I don't know, maybe 50 feet. And so, well, Max slowly reels that sinker in, he'll cover some ground, and then in the process, he'll feel a tap, tap, tap. Now, another cool thing about that trick is it's very interactive, and it can, um, you know, get put idle hands to work. So, so Max, I think you're getting a nibble. Set the hook and see what happens. Give it a jerk, give it a jerk. Oh, you got one. Reel him in. 